Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be doing a quick video on the Sonic Model F1 here, which is a wing that was sent in from Banggood. So let's just real quick get the box open and see what we get. I apologize for the lighting. Pretty late in the day here. So we just start off with our wings. There we have that one. There's the other one. So we just have a quick little assembly diagram. That's always nice. It gives you some of the specs up here. Here we have some stickers to put on the wings as they do not come applied. And we get a carbon rod that's going to go through the middle. Looks like it has a square outside and a circle inside. Hopefully this is more durable than the one that was in the Ishin Fury wing as I broke that carbon rod like three times. But we'll have to see. And then we get another little box which has the fuselage in it. And this did come in bubble wrap but I had already taken it out. We just get... One propeller, it's kind of disappointing you only get one. It's just a sort of standard glass nylon 6045. So definitely get more 6 inch propellers. Or 7 inch because it'll do that as well. And then we do have um, two little screws to put this together. As there is no glue, glue only screws. On the fuselage here, you see we have the motor mounted up back. It is a Racer Star 2216 2000 kV motor. Um, so it's the same one that was on the Ishin Fury Wing as well, so I have some experience with this. This does provide a lot, a lot of power, and it gives you about a 10 minute run time. And it, this will easily go over 100 miles an hour on the right prop. And since it is 2000 kV, that's pretty low. Um, you can run this on 4S and 7 inch if you want to get a little bit longer efficiency. Uh, looks like this is where the wings will just go on, the spar will go through, and it looks like they'll screw through here and probably magnetically attached somehow and we have this little hatch with a thing for air intake and this just pops off and here's your 40 amp ESC in there and then up front is a little spot for you to put a FPV camera if you want to put FPV on this which I will be doing eventually get a little board with um, velcro in it to put your battery and other than that pretty self-explanatory you just have to hook up your receiver and then you'll be ready to go they spar through the wings themselves are pretty nice. They have a molded up section at the back. It looks like the servo connectors are pre-installed. The servos are pre-installed, so it's super nice. And they do have um, these little plastic covers under there to protect from branches or anything else you would hit, so that's nice. The foam is high density EPO, I think, or EPP, I'm not sure, but it feels very stiff in the hand. Um, it works pretty well overall, pretty durable, and you can just hot glue it back together if you get into a mess. We do have a pretty big area on the aileron here, so hopefully this will give it good control um, and be pretty responsive. We got good throw as well. This will just fit into there. Pretty nice, snug, tight fit. And be aware that the wings don't mount straight onto the body. They're angled back a little bit. So um, just keep that in mind so you don't break anything. And then this uh, little cardboard piece slides into there, and that's where your screw will go. So I guess these aren't held on magnetically, which is sort of a good thing. Um, it's going to make them more sturdy than magnets, but in a crash, the magnets having the wings pop off actually helps a lot with durability. So I'm not expecting this one to be super durable. And just putting on the other one, you can see what that is going to look like there. So it's a pretty, pretty decent sized wing. I think it said 833 millimeter wingspan. And then obviously there's nothing in the back here, so you could probably run easily, swing a 7 inch prop or whatever size you want. So that was just a real quick intro for this wing. I'm going to install a receiver for it, um, set everything up. Obviously you have to do elevon mixing for the two ailerons. And hopefully the next thing you'll see is it flying and not crashing. So let's get to that. All right, so here we are back about a week later. I've been flying this guy around, so pretty much just put the stickers on. Um, this isn't the same prop anymore because I broke that since it's really fragile. This is just a Dow 6045 bullnose, and I just put a 1550 R-Line in there. I was running it with 2200 4S batteries, but um, that's just a little bit heavy. I'd say that's the maximum weight you want to go, and maybe something for like a cruiser, and you can still get 10 minutes on a 1550. So that's the size that I would recommend, 1500 around there. already just put a d4r2 ppm receiver in there make sure everything is good yep prop spin in the right way so let's see if i don't completely mess up the uh hand launch here <laughs> okay that was almost bad 
Got to adjust my trims here. Battery shifted around from when I put the last one in. There we go, flying pretty good. So this wing is definitely pretty fast. It does not like to go very slow. That's probably, I don't know, 30% cruising um, speed. This is pretty much as slow as you're gonna wanna go. Right there, it just kinda cruises around. So while we have it at full battery, let's do a speed run here. It's a 4S. I was bad, I gotta get lower here. See, pretty fast, this is on six inch. Probably about 110 miles an hour, I'd say. Um, and this is a 2216 motor, 2000 kV. I have run it on seven inch and it works just fine, but the top speed goes down a little bit. But if you're looking to make this a top speed um, wing, you might wanna run a 5S on a 6060. 60. I'd be really pushing it, but that's probably what you're gonna need to get ultimate speed. But as is, this thing's really fast already. And a lot faster than um, a bunch of other sort of ready to go wings. Something that you wouldn't build yourself. Because the 2216 motor is just giant, but it really does provide a lot of power. It does fly nice and smooth and stable. The controls on are actually, they come stock on the lowest setting. And I was going to change that um, to get more control. But it's actually pretty responsive. The ailerons are pretty big as is. So I'm going to actually leave those there. Um, I'll do a roll here. Whoa, a little bit too low of airspeed for that. Um, but it's, it's very responsive um, stock. There's a better roll. So and you can make it go faster if you want, obviously. But I think that's a good rate, especially if you're going to do faster flying. Yeah, it just flies around real nice and smooth. And at lower throttles, it's not too loud. Um, and again, this is not the stock prop, but it's very, very comparable to stock prop. This one's just more durable. Sea flies really nice. Really liking this wing. Let's do a loop here. Hopefully that was in shot. Seven minutes. No problems powering out of that. You do, um, this wing does sort of have a problem with stalling. If you go really slow and try and bank, bank and yank with it, it will drop a wing and it sort of does like a lot of diagonal rolls and it just flips out. So you gotta be careful if you're gonna try stalling this guy because it does not end well. So make sure you come into your turns with decent speed. And having a seven inch prop helps to pull out of that um, since you just have more low end power. See, it definitely has some top end to it. Had no problems with the ESC. Running at full throttle like this for probably two minutes at a time. The battery doesn't even get warm. You know, it's just one motor. You're probably maxing, maybe maxing at 50 amps. Probably not even that much. It depends on your prop, of course. But yeah, just flies really well. I don't know what else there is for me to say about it here. Don't want to make this video too long. I already showed how it flies. And you probably get about a 10 minute flight off of a 1550. So let me come in for a landing. This guy does not really like to land. Um, the prop doesn't break, so it just kind of spins here. So let's, yeah, see, it's, I just cut from a long ways away the throttle. And it does not like to stop, so I'll come around again. So landing's a little bit tricky with this guy, especially because of the stall issue. So you kind of have to put it into the ground at a decent amount of speed. All right, let's try here.
No, oh, yeah, it's still too fast. I don't want to walk all over there. Got to go out just a little bit farther and come back in. But yeah, the, there's no flight controller or self stabilization here. It's all manual. So if you wanted to change the ESC settings, you'd have to like raise the throttle and do that kind of stuff. Yeah, let's come in for a landing here. Got really far away on the approach. Let's try and get it slowed down enough. <laughs> not terrible, not my best. Alright, so there we go. That was just a quick review of the Sonic Model F1. Hopefully you enjoyed this flight. And yeah, this thing's working out really well for me so far. I've crashed it a bunch of times so far and the wings and front in general are still nice and sturdy. They don't have any bend or flex in them. Um, the screws that go in to the wooden parts in the middle, I did have one rip out the uh, metal or the wood part of the body, but I just glued it back in and works just fine. Um, one concern I do have is from landing, obviously if you land like this, your motor is going to get pulled on. And my motor mount is starting to get a little bit loose back here, but it's pushing on it. And it doesn't seem to affect it in flight, but I might have to add some glue around there just to refirm it up after a while. But yeah, runs nice on a 1550, plenty of flight time. Really nice plane for the price, obviously. Um, I will be adding FPV to it up front in just a little bit, but for line of sight so far, really nice wing. And probably a good place to start on. It's really cheap it's under 100 bucks all you have to do is add a receiver add your battery and you're good to go so there'll be a link down below in the description please subscribe and i'll see you in the next one bye